I first started my career in education in Palo Alto. Right out of the credential program at UC Davis, I came to Palo Alto and taught first grade, and then taught second grade, and then taught fifth grade. So this is my 17th year in education. And then now, in my current role as a math and STEAM coach, I get to go and support all the elementary school teachers throughout the district, as well as the TK program that we have in our district. I think the most important ways to use Schoology in elementary is communication. For the teachers to communicate with the parents, as well as for the teachers to communicate with the students, and of course, students to students, as well as a, ways, a place to host everything. So as an elementary school teacher, it was using Word documents to create newsletters for parents and sending it to them through the emails. And of course, sometimes, you know, many times, parents have, they're inundated with emails and so they don't read the newsletters. But when Schoology came in, it was posting quick blasts and quick little excerpts of the day. Um, sharing pictures of it as well in the photo, the media albums. And then for the younger elementary, kindergarten, first grade, the students aren't using Schoology, but the parents are. And so it's still, it's about communication with the parents. And then when the students are more capable or they're older in third, fourth, and fifth grade, they are now interacting with the teacher, having discussions with the teacher. And it's, of course, as I mentioned, a place to host all their materials. Um, when I was a fifth grade teacher, I flipped and blended my instruction, and so I posted my videos, the videos that I created using various screencasting apps, and that allowed my students to be able to access those videos on an ongoing basis, going back to review things, and so it was really empowering for the students to be able to, to own their learning in that way. But specifically with the students, the discussion is a really powerful place. With classrooms in elementary, um, fortunately we have 20 to 22 students per classroom, but there are still always some teacher, some students who are quiet, who are shy, who may not raise their hand. There, of course, are those other students that really are always very vocal. But when you have an online place for um, discussions or posting updates and questions like Schoology, it really allows all students to be able to share their voice.